Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani and in today's video, I am going to talk about one of the incredible programs of Canada Immigration which is faster, easier and affordable as compared to other programs. I will also walk you through its complete step-by-step -step application process, its fees, processing time and much more. So without wasting any time, let us start. The name of this program is Working Holiday Visa which is one of the categories of International Experience Canada. It also has other two categories that I discussed in one of my previous videos and the link of this video is given in the description box below. This program is designed to give young people the opportunity to travel, work and gain Canadian work experience. This category allows you to work and travel in Canada for up to two years. You can work for any employer in Canada and you can leave and re-enter Canada as many times as you like. Now let's talk about its requirements and eligibility criteria. One of the most important requirements for you to participate in this program is your country or territory of citizenship must have a youth mobility agreement with Canada and this is the list where you can check the name of your country and it is given in the description box below. However, if your country is not listed in there, then guys, there is nothing to worry about. You can still participate in this program by using one of these recognized organizations. So guys, this is the only way for you to come to Canada through a working holiday visa if your country is not partner with Canada for this program. Basically, these recognized organizations offer work and travel support to youth. They can be non-profit, but most of them do charge a fee for their services. So guys, if you decide to use one of these recognized organizations to participate in this program, then visit their website for details to find out their fees, their services and their contact information. And this is the list of those organizations. Again, it is given in the description box below. You can check it out. In order to apply for this program, you need to meet certain eligibility criteria, such as you must be between the age of 18 and 35 or 30, depending on your country of citizenship. You must have a valid passport from an eligible country. You must have a certain amount of funds in your bank account to support yourself at the beginning of your stay in Canada. And you must meet the health and character requirements. I will also walk you through its complete step-by-step -step application process. This process begins where you find out if you meet the minimum eligibility criteria by answering some of the questions such as country of citizenship, country of PR, country of residence and other basic questions. Now this is the page where you can find out if you are eligible to apply to any of these categories under this program. And the link of this page is given in the description box below of this video. So this is just a basic questionnaire that you need to answer as I mentioned, such as the name of the organization you are getting help from if your country is not partner, the country of your permanent residence, information about your studies, and once you complete answering all these questions, they will bring you on this page where you can see the results if you're eligible or not. And if you get a positive result, you can complete and submit your International Experience Canada profile online. And guys, it is super easy process to do it. All you have to do is just sign in to your GC key account. And if you don't have any, you can uh, create one. And it is also an extremely easy process to do it the way you create your other accounts. So anyways, once you create and log into your account, you will see this page. Then just scroll this page down to start your new application for your IEC and click apply to come to Canada. Then it will bring you on this page. Then click International Experience Canada tab. This will take you on this page where you need to answer the same questionnaire that you did before uh, to find out your eligibility. So once again, when you answer it, it will show you the results of your eligibility and then you press continue button and it will bring you on this page which says e-services. And this is basically your uh, online profile that you need to create and submit. As you can see, there are four sections. Now, one of the sections uh, says complete, which is your work and education details. And other section says in progress and not started because all this information is taken from the questionnaire that you just answered before coming to this page. So anyways, all you have to do is just complete all these sections one by one. Each section has a few questions that you need to answer, such as your last name, your first name, uh, your date of birth, your country of birth, your marital status 
uh, the information about your uh, ID documents such as passport number, its issue and expiry date, and just the basic information about you. So once you complete all these sections of this form, press continue button. This will take you on this uh, declaration and electronic signature page where you need to select I agree and write your first name and last name answer the security question and then press sign button this will take you on this page which is just the last step to submit your profile so guys please ensure that all the information that you have entered into this form is correct and true to your knowledge so once you confirm it then press transmit button and you will receive a message that congratulations you have successfully submitted your uh, application or profile and they will tell you the next steps that you need to follow and within couple of minutes you will receive an automated email from IRCC that you have a message into your IRCC account so all you have to do is just go to your IRCC account to see uh, that message so basically this is a confirmation letter from IRCC that says you have been accepted to the International Experience Canada pool and they will also provide the instructions for your next steps and guys at this point all the documents should be ready because you may receive your invitation to apply anytime and this is the checklist of all the documents that you are going to need when you will submit your work permit application online under IEC the link of this checklist is also given in the description box below and if you receive an ITA then you will have 10 days to accept it after you accept your ITA your next step would be to apply for your work permit online and you will have 20 days to submit your uh, work permit application from the time you accept your invitation to apply or ITA. And once your work permit application is approved, you will receive a port of entry letter of introduction in your account. And the border services officer will make a final decision on your entry when you arrive in Canada. And this is the fees that you need to pay for your working holiday visa. And the processing time for this program is 8 weeks. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it for today. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment box. I would be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys till then. You take care and I'll see you again.